So welcome everyone to this WAVES event, which is called We Are Our Choices, Learning to Make Good Decisions. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Sheetal Kavya. I'm from St. George's University, and I'm a e-projects manager. So first of all, thank you to everyone who's here and traveled from far distance to be here today. As you can see, we've got a range of people from all over the world, and it's fantastic to have you all here. And um, so we've got people all the way from the USA and all the way in Far East from Vietnam. And you've actually visited us at a special time of year. Um, we're actually celebrating Halloween at the moment here in the UK. So I just want to say happy Halloween in advance. Um, and also, the day is going to be filled with loads of treats for you. And a typical game that um, people play during Halloween is trick or treat. So hopefully today is full of treats for you. And what I'd like to do is introduce you and welcome our principal from St. George's University, Professor Jenny Hyam. So I'd like to add my welcome to you. My name is Jenny Hyam. I've been the principal of St. George's nearly three years now, and that three years has gone extremely quickly. Um, I'm going to embarrass perhaps the team and say there are so many things to be proud of at St. George's, but the team that are here today that are putting on this event and have nurtured this collaboration is one of which we're ex in particularly and expressly proud. There's lots of people in the team, and uh, so I'm going to mention by name both Luke and Terry, but that's not exclusive. Everybody has made a phenomenal contribution, and when I go to different environments, from today I'm going on to the Houses of Parliament, if people talk about what does George's do? One of the things it is known for is innovative learning, scenario-based learning, e-based learning, whatever you say. It's one of our core strengths. So it is appropriate that we're hosting this conference today. Thank you very much for coming. I want to particularly welcome those of you that feel you might have just slightly scraped the invitation or you're not quite sure if you have anything to contribute, because typically in these scenarios, we thank the very senior people. But actually, seniority is irrelevant to this. It's your thoughts, it's your ideas, it's your contributions. Everybody has something to say in this scenario. And please don't hold back network, talk to others, because in fact, as well as the presentations, which will be excellent, it's those side conversations that often provoke much more interesting and vibrant work. Certainly in my career, I'm a doctor by background, and I did a lot of research by uh, around basic physiology, understanding things such as periods and implantation, which you might think is quite a long way from where you are here today. But latterly, I've done work in simulation in medical education, particularly in areas where it's difficult to get clinical experience. And one of my best projects came when I came to an environment not dissimilar to this, because my boss couldn't make it. So I hope other such uh, collaborations are generated. We've already heard how international today's event is. And frankly, I'm ashamed by where Britain is at the moment. We really are in such a mess. We seem to be giving out compellingly diverse messages about how open we are and how welcome at the same time battening down every hatch. I can promise you that is not the view of our establishment, nor in fact the vast majority of people that I interact with. And so please bear with us while we go, go through this current turmoil and convulsions. We genuinely are open. We do want to collaborate. We've always benefited from internationalization and that will continue. And then just finally to conclude, one thing to say about why this is an important event. 
I was speaking at a dinner only this week about a colleague of mine. We were both con consultants appointed at the same time. And we have been operating on patients for probably 35 years. And we both at this dinner, at the time we were appointed consultants, it was all about our technical skill. Could we do that very difficult operation where we were su sufficiently trained? And it was interesting reflecting more than 20 years on, we both said, actually, we, at that stage, we were focusing on the technical skill. What we really should focus on is making the right decision. That's more important. Is it the right thing to do at the right time in this clinical scenario? And when things go wrong, it's often less the technicalities of it, but more the decision process that got you to that stage to be doing the wrong thing at the wrong time. So it's incredibly relevant to the future of the people that you work with and the future trainees. So thank you very much indeed for coming today. And thank you also again for the team for organizing such a great event. And I hope you enjoy the day. So an overview of today, we're gonna to start off with a presentation who, uh, by Terry Poulton, who will talk about um, the impact and the impact some of our um, projects have had over the years and how that's grown our network. This would be followed by um, a couple of keynote speakers, some fantastic keynote speakers from both um, James McGee and Diana Laurelard. And then we'll go on to talking about some scenario implementations in actual organizations. How are they using these scenarios to train or teach their learners? We'll also talk about, have a couple of presentations on research, some of the outcomes of one of our projects called TAME, and also just the current status of medical um, education in virtual patients. And the main thing today is to get involved. We have two interactive discussion sessions here and would love for you to get involved. But throughout the day, if there are any questions that you want to post to the community, there's a thing called Menti. So if you go to menti.com and enter the code 176229, you'll see post-its around the room and also in your packs with that code on, make sure that you um, submit the questions. And throughout the day, if you wanna see the questions that people are submitting, it's projected out in the lobby. So, let's get going. So I'd like to introduce you to Professor Terry Poulton, who is going to present the impact of our journey with virtual scenarios. <laughs> 